Hello, my adventurers. Welcome to another library do-it-yourself project. Today we are making the looking glass, basically a mosaic mirror. For those of you that need a code for the badge you're trying to earn for this project, it is at the end of the video. You don't need much for this project, just some old mosaic glass pieces, some grouting. I'm adding some food color to the water to give it some color. Some Mod Podge to seal it off. Um, a two inch by two inch mirror. And something to smooth out the grouting. I'm using my old Harvey's shopping cart and paper towels. And let's not forget the one slat. Okay, we're gonna place our mirror onto our wooden slat with a little bit of Mod Podge at the back of the mirror. The reason why the mirror has blue masking tape on it is to keep the grouting from scratching it when we place the grouting. So you just need to cover the full bottom part of the bottom of the mirror and place it on the wooden slat wherever you want it. I'm placing mine on top. Now we're gonna take our mosaic pieces and surround our mirror and then outline our wooden slat with mosaic pieces and then cut fill in the rest. Remember, surround the mirror first, the outline second, fill in last. Once the surrounding mirror is done, start with the outline. Once the outline is done, you can start filling in with the rest with any kind of design you want. Once you fill in the entire wooden slat, let it completely dry. For those who do not wish to use the mirror, I have done a second one with just the mosaic pieces, basically a sunflower. Now we're going to mix our water with our grounding. I'm adding a little bit of glitter to give it some sparkle. And this is the green grounding that I'm going to put on my sunflower. Depending on which kind of grounding you have at hand, um, we did stress on how much water to add. The kit, the grounding that came with the kit is a three part to one part so three part grouting one part water so the grounding you have in your kit only takes uh, one tablespoon and a half of water so basically add one tablespoon at first 
And if it doesn't come to a yoga consistency, add the rest of the water. One tablespoon and half a tablespoon. That's all you need. And it, come, it has to come out looking like yogurt. So we're going to smooth our grouting into the cracks between our mosaic pieces. Be careful not to spill over the edge, but you need to actually... It's okay to go over the um, glass. It won't hurt it. Just be very careful not to spill any because that's all you have. Now, once your piece is entirely covered, you're going to take a wet paper towel or a wet sponge and gently remove the excess off the top of the glass. Gently do this because it is still wet and then the, the grouting is still wet and it's still movable. Here you can actually see that I have some air bubbles into my grouting so I'm just going to fix those real quickly. And after that we're going to let this dry and then we're going to come back and polish off our stones, our glass mosaic pieces. Our artwork is dry enough. Or <laughs> It's dirty enough for us to take a wet nap or a sponge and wipe off or polish every single piece of glass. Yes, you heard me. I did say that. Every little piece of glass, one by one. I've taken the masking tape off the mirror and now I'm just going through both pieces and finishing polishing off the glass pieces. Yes, this part takes a long time because the polishing, removing extra grout, removing extra sand, it can be time consuming. Now with all my art pieces, I like to go over with Mod Posh just to seal it in so there's no flying sand it's waterproof it's sealant so just it's okay with the glass part for the glue to get on there it's okay for the glue to get on the mirror because the glue is much easier to wipe off than grouting <laughs> now we're gonna let the glue completely dry before wiping it off yes you have to polish the stones or the rocks or the glass whatever you're using again but after that you're done project done. Those who are waiting for the coat, here it is. Thank you for joining me, Lavana Moore, for another do-it-yourself project. If you want any more projects, just go to your local library and you can find us on Facebook. YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, or our website at okrls.org, or just come visit us. Love to see you.